The impact of the COVID-19 pandemic has touched everyone in Vietnam. For some, it is the loss of family and friends. For others, it is severe economic challenges and difficulties during lockdowns. Among the 345,000 healthcare workers in Vietnam, these impacts were exacerbated by unprecedented workload, prolonged periods away from their families, and high-risk working conditions as they worked hard to save lives. Doctors and nurses often put their patients first and think of themselves as the ones to help others. But after more than two years of fighting COVID-19, many also need support. Since July 2021, I've been part of the fight against COVID-19, working to improve community-based care. I was unaware of the changes in my personality or the way I spoke and communicated in the early stages of my work. I was fortunate enough to attend the Epic Project's training program for healthcare workers on mental health. I thoroughly appreciated the teachings on mindfulness practices in this course, and I used these mindfulness exercises during my afternoon solitude for almost one hour each day. At these times, I feel like I'm back, in charge, and more at peace with myself. The United States Agency for International Development has invested in supporting the mental health of Vietnam's healthcare workers because we understand the importance of personal well-being and the ability to take care of others. These efforts are making a positive impact in the lives of those on the front lines of Vietnam's fight against COVID-19. The U.S. aid-supported EPIC project worked alongside Vietnamese mental health experts to design a support package aimed at addressing stress, anxiety, depression, burnout, and other work-related health challenges in healthcare workers post-COVID. This included working with the Ho Chi Minh City University of Medicine and Pharmacy to train hospital administrators, doctors, and nurses to educate them on the basics of mental health and well-being. Interested health staff were eligible to have an hour-long individual counseling session to help discuss their needs and gain insights from the trainers. Others opted to join an hour-long group counseling session where they collaborated with their peers on a short reflective writing exercise to identify their needs. Each session concluded with a recap of what had been discussed and an affirmation of the participants' skills and resources. In addition, skill building workshops helped clients build tools to be resilient in challenging situations. I find mindfulness practices to be really beneficial. Mindfulness practices are those that enhance our capacity to be present. Numerous research studies on mindfulness practice indicate that it helps practitioners minimize stress, feelings of pressure, and recover effectively from stress, which will considerably benefit the mental health of healthcare workers. I presented six distinct subjects before concluding the series with a training session on care and self-care. Self-care is a topic that has had significant impact on my work with healthcare workers. Through this topic, I educate healthcare workers on the significance of caring for their physical and mental health. It's all about establishing a positive environment for myself. Lessons like these make me feel more comfortable, more engaged in the workplace, and help me work more efficiently. Thanks to the lecturers and the EPIC project for their assistance in conducting the course efficiently. I've returned to my normal work. The exercises learned in the EPIC supported course, on the other hand, are still very helpful in both personal and professional life. This support for mental health is a small step in a much broader process to normalize mental well-being for healthcare workers and the general population in Vietnam. USAID is expanding its support for mental health through other interventions, including care for people living with HIV and their caregivers. We look forward to more opportunities to partner with local leaders on mental health initiatives, including counseling and self-care efforts. While the COVID-19 pandemic is ever-changing and support for healthcare workers will evolve over time, Equipping oneself with the knowledge and skills to cope with mental health issues and provide self-care is an important part of public health. For our healthcare heroes, the mental health support they receive through this project will undoubtedly lay the groundwork for them to successfully balance life and work in the future, despite a variety of pressures. <laughs>